Here's a look at what's new in iOS 9.3. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today we're going to walk through some of the new iOS 9.3 features that you'll see on your iPhone and iPad later this year. One of the first new features is called Night Shift. And so you can change the overall color of your screen. Now if we go into Settings and Display and Brightness, there's this new Night Shift option and so you can control this manually or you can have it scheduled right now I have it scheduled to turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise and so what this does is it adjusts the temperature of your screen and I'm gonna to cut to footage of the iPhone so you can see what this does but as you move this slider around it changes the overall color temperature of your screen so if you're looking at this at night you're gonna be able to sleep better after you look at that warmer screen but it's going to go back to a normal temperature during the day. Now, part of this new feature is a new control center. So you'll see there's now a night shift icon over on the right side when you're in landscape. It's down at the bottom when you're in portrait. And you can turn it on or off, or you can turn it on or off until a specific time. So you do have a good amount of manual control over this. Now, another new feature is the ability to password protect a note. So if I go into a note, I am able to put a password protect option on this. I tap on this share, I can lock the note, and I can create a password and use Touch ID and so you enter your password twice and you can do a hint if you want and then hit done. So now that note is locked. Now another really handy feature is in photos and this is really helpful if you're going to edit a live photo but it's also pretty handy with any photo. You can now duplicate the photo. So I'm going to tap the share icon and on this pop-up here, I have the option to duplicate. This way I can create an exact copy of the photo that I want to use, and then I can go in and edit it, crop it, and it's really handy with live photos where you lose the motion and the audio if you edit the photo. So this is a really handy way to be able to keep that original and make edits. If you have an iPhone 6S or iPhone 6S Plus, you now have access to new shortcuts through the 3D Touch. So you can use a variety of different 3D Touch shortcuts. And you'll see some different options than we've had in the past and really it all depends on what you use your 3D Touch for if that's going to be really helpful for you. Now another really cool feature is the option to get Wi-Fi calling on Verizon. So Verizon Wi-Fi calling has not been available yet and this is an AT&T phone so I can't show you on here but when 9.3 comes if you have an iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S or 6 Plus you're going to be able to turn on Wi-Fi calling. What this means is when you don't have a good Verizon signal, you're going to be able to make calls over Wi-Fi. A really handy way to stay connected. Inside iBooks, you can now use iCloud so that you have access to PDFs, books, whatever, across all of your devices. So if you hit use iCloud, you're gonna be able to access all of the items that you have stored on your iPhone from iPhone to iPhone and iPhone to iPad. It's really handy. Another cool new feature is in the Health app. So you now have workout data and there's a few other cool new things. And so this can use different apps to track your workouts. And if you use workouts in the Apple Watch, they should show up here as well and you're going to have access to your workout data so you can get an overview of how much you're working out. Now, another interesting option is you're able to pair multiple Apple Watches. We don't have an Apple Watch hooked up to this device, but you're going to be able to hook up two Apple Watches to the same phone. It'd be a little bit more handy if we could hook up one Apple Watch to 
different phones without a whole reset kind of option happening, but that's not in 9.3 right now. Now, if you have a car with CarPlay, you're going to have some options there to get better CarPlay support. There's new education options, which will allow you to use multiple users within one single iPad in an education setting. Now, hopefully this is leading to an overall multiple user support for iPads at home, but so far Apple has not confirmed that as an iOS 9.3 feature. Now, rounding out some of the iOS 9.3 features are new privacy options. And the biggest one is your media library. So there's now an option where if an app requests access to your media library, it will appear here if you've granted permission. That's similar to apps that you've granted access to your camera, your microphone, photos, contacts, calendars, location, things like that. And so you'll be able to turn that on and off. Make sure you check out the link in the description below and head over to gottobemobile.com to learn more about what's new in iOS 9.3, what to expect from iOS 9.3, and other key details.